see the chart, but take a look at section D. All right, you see that, that little line going down and over there, and you see the green line per se? All right, that's a control group that did not have a certain particular or particular treatment. The red line, the one that lived longer in regards to the graph, which was an animal study, was a group of animals that received a certain treatment that ended up extending life expectancy. Even then, as impressive as this chart is, the true findings are actually even more impressive when you hear what they are. What the researchers did here, again, this is an animal study, but looking from a different angle. They didn't look at oxidative stress in regard to what causes a person to age, because you can have two organisms, for example, let's say, like, again, like a mouse, and biologically, for the most part, fairly similar. You get the life expectancy of a mouse is two years or more around that area, where you can have the life expectancy of a human be 75, 76, 78, wherever it is, depending on the, what part of the world. What changes that? What is different? Well, what they looked at, the researchers in particular, was the hypothalamus, especially in regard to microRNA. What's fascinating is it not only slowed the aging process down when the researchers did what they did, it actually reversed some aspects of the age, telling us that the brain itself is what controls the aging process, possibly more so than anything else, if these particular studies carry over and have the same results in humans. Be a little morbid, but you'll understand why more in a second. Let's go into the public citation title. Brain cells found to control and reverse aging. I add the that. Actually, just brain cells found to control aging is the solid title. Scientists at Albert Einstein College of Medicine have found that stem cells in the brain's hypothalamus govern how fast aging occurs in the body. The finding made in mice could lead to new strategies of warding off age-related diseases and extending lifespan. To quote the researchers, our research shows that the number of hypothalamic neural stem cells naturally declines over the life of an animal, and this decline accelerates aging. But, so according to the researchers, we also found that the effects of this loss are not irreversible. By replenishing these stem cells or the molecules they produce, keep that in mind, it's possible to slow, in their words, even reverse varying aspects of aging throughout the body. Study parameters. It's actually a really good uh, open source or open data source trial. You'll see more why in a second. It's, it's a great study. All right, citation. Hypothalamic stem cells control aging speed, speed partly through exosomal microRNA, published as Nature Magazine. Funding, as you could state, set of participants, animal, very statistical analysis. All right, now this is kind of cool. I'm gonna go off a side note right, real fast. If you look at the studies, for example, if you look at the graph, you're gonna see like the two tails through the T-test and the ANOVA test. But what is really, really neat, outside of even given the statistical analysis that's used itself, when you pull up the study, and again, this is more for people which are, um, their biostatisticians, which look at Excel or R Commander or Python, you know, like if you're familiar with DataCamp, great way to uh, give your kids a future. Some of the DataCamp, they may not like you very much, but they'll like you in the future. All right, but if you look at the Excel spreadsheet, all right, if you use Microsoft Excel for your data analysis, it's there. Boom! You just pull down the menus, do a two uh, two tails to the t test if you want to make it a little tougher, or a single sided. Well, this is two tailed, and just put the data right in there and come up and see exactly what the researchers came up with result. Every study should be exactly like that, where anybody could come in, look at the data, and see if they could duplicate the statistical analysis on its own. Also, great, great, great training tool uh, for anybody that is a biostatistician or statistician overall that wants to find some easy studies uh, that they can utilize to uh, hone their skills. All right, beside that point, all the data listed as follows. Dosage of material. Researchers extracted microRNA containing exosomes from the hypothalamic stem cells and injected them into the cerebral spinal fluid of two groups of mice, middle-aged mice, whose hypothalamic stem cells had been destroyed in normal middle-aged mice. But the implanted stem cells, and keep this in mind, they have to genetically modify the stem cells, which could be a co con uh, confounding factor, co-founding factor, confounding. Uh, but however, the implanted stem cells, initially when they just went by itself, almost all died which according to the research blamed as part of the inflammatory environment of the aging hypothalamus itself. 
However, when they alter the stem cells at some point, the newborn neural stem cells that were genetically engineered to withstand the environment of inflammation particularly, on the other hand, did survive, and mice implanted with those cells live longer and perform better on aging-related measures than the control mice. Which asked, the researcher wanted to ask a further question. Could adding stem cells to the hypothalamus counteract aging? To answer the question, to further elaborate, the researchers injected the hypothalamic stem cells into the brains of middle-aged mice whose stem cells have been destroyed as well as into the brains of normal old mice. Results. In both groups of animals, the treatment slowed or reversed various measures of aging. They found that the hypothalamic stem cells appear to exert their anti-aging effect by releasing molecules called microRNA. Hence, potentially new key to understanding aging, slowing, and potentially reversing, especially in regard to a lot of age-related disease in particular. So to conclude, and this quote came from one of the, the, uh, one of the other uh, publications, which did a great job in reviewing as well, and that was called The Scientist. And the, the researcher who made this quote was not affiliated with the study, but they said it best. The medical application could be pretty profound. The phenotypes such as muscle mass and skin thickness affected by these stem cells are the same ones that cause age-related diseases, she notes the researcher. The fact that you can reverse that with a brain-specific modulation potentially in a cell type that one could pharmacology, pharmacologically target I think potentially that could be very profound, assuming that the mouse work translates to humans. So in short, they discovered potentially a major, major, major component of the aging process itself in regard to microRNA and the hypothalamus. Meaning of all the parts of the body we have, the most important part in regard to regulating aging appears to be, as if this animal trial translates to humans, the brain. So with that in mind, I hope you find this information of use. This is Ralph Churchiano signing off and I look forward to seeing you all once again in seven days. I'll catch you then. Bye.